Oh, like a little birdie. Uh, Houston, we may have a problem. I hear a U that s sounds the same as when they lamb. What is going on? Where did you come from? <laughs> a little early. Still cute. Good morning, you guys. We have a kind of a cool, busy day. I had to run to the post office just to drop off a package for a giveaway that I am a part of on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram and hopefully you'll find out what that's all about in a couple weeks. Jeremy just showed up right before I was leaving with that new, uh, that cedar we're gonna demo. I think it's called an avatar. <laughs> Well, we had a little uh, delay. There was a tiny little, I believe, a bean plate that separates big, big seeds, maybe, or it's used with big seeds. Anyway, it bent. So we, it, he didn't get anything planted and they had to pale out an entire pro box full of, I don't even know how many bags of, of beans that is, but they, but Jeremy had to pale that whole entire um, can, unit. So the good thing about this planter is it's split up in two spot, two sections. So the front is supposed to be for the fertilizer and the beans go in the back. So luckily we had no fertilizer in the front cause we've already fertilized this field. So he just, paled all the beans from the back of the container to the front. So it wasn't terribly bad, but it's warm today. So poor Jeremy's just having a bad day. But I think everything is good, so we're gonna test it out now. Seed depth, Lucy. Is it all good? Oh, like a little birdie. You like Snow White. <laughs> there you go. Go sniff it now. Now you're all right. How many bags will do just that little bit? Just one. Just one bag? I figure. Should we put another one just on the back here, just in case? Or will it fall off? I just don't want to vacuum out a bunch. How That's much like is in there right now? Nothing? Yeah, there's still in it. Oh yeah. So today has been very unproductive for me, for the sheep barn, so today, tomorrow is going to be a full day of sheep. Uh, today I just want to be around for the finishing up of soybeans. So uh, the demo day took a lot longer than we probably all wanted it to, uh, but Mark was really happy with the unit. There's a couple little small things that I think there's actually been uh, retrofits made for it. Um, so none of that was a big surprise. And I think as well, there might be, I think as well, there might be a planter coming out that they've made. So I think Mark wants to test that for our uh, white beans. So 
If you haven't seen the end of Jeremy, he'll be back on the farm shortly. But uh, he had a heck of a day. Him and Paige, uh, his apprentice, I would say. So that's Jess planting. Jess has done a, Jess has done a phenomenal job uh, this spring with us. She's really confident. She's really boosted her confidence. So she's done uh, quite a bit of the soybean planting, probably at least half, if not more. So that's a real nice uh, feather in her cap. Yeah, so we're just on the final strokes here. She's got one little sliver left. The problem with switching to this other cedar, it was a little narrower, so we could go faster with it, but it didn't plant quite as much at the same time. Uh, and it's just left us kind of at an odd shape. We usually, when, when, our, when, when we're on our last pass, uh, we're usually perfectly on that um, 30 foot center and it's looking here like we have just a wee little strip left unplanted so she'll have to come back so i'm just going to follow her with this with the seed just to make sure she has enough we ran out bad guesstimation bad guesstimation that's why i hate guesstimation okay why don't we just put both in and be done with it Okay. So I forgot to divide that. <laughs> okay. uh, Houston, we may have a problem. Jess uh, just called and she went a few feet and didn't realize her fan wasn't on. And that's a big no-no with an air seater. You need the air. So she says it's making a heck of a noise and we may have to unplug tubes and there's literally like nothing left to do in this field. <laughs> she said, and I quote, I hate my life right now. So I'm just waiting to get a call. There it is. Oh no. Always in the same place. Morning guys. I hear a you that s sounds the same as when they lamb and these guys are not due for just shy of four weeks. They're due like June 13th. That is a lamb. What the heck? Oh, it's a lot. There's twins. How is this possible? Why are you so early? There was no breakout. Twit triplets. There's three. I have no idea what's going on here because there was no breakout. There was no nothing. And these are nice sized lambs. What is going on? Well, enjoy. What is going on? Where did you come from? You're so perfect. I in a dirty pen. I haven't even cleaned this barn. Oh no, I'm freaking out. You guys, hello. What's your hurry? So this morning I came out early to finish hoof trimming my ewe lambs because yesterday was a gong show and I never got any sheep work done, any sheep management jobs done. So I had today perfectly planned out, scheduled, and the last thing I thought right before I went to bed, as long as nothing crazy happens. So crazy has happened. I'm just not gonna hoof trim this morning. What I want to do is actually clean out this pen. I'm gonna clean this one out. Thank God I did wean Miles' pen and the Bottle Baby pen. So I can actually move all these guys into the center alley, clean this pen out this morning before chores because chores I'm not doing till like 11, 11.30, so it'll work out okay. There's not much litter in here, so it shouldn't take too long. And then get it all rebedded and then put Mama and her three babies in a lambing pen. But wow, what a... Uh, this was not planned. I'm still really confused as to what happened. I might have to go through my vlogs and see if I've missed something. So I think what I'm gonna do is build a little, just a little claiming pen here and just kind of dump them over into this pen. So then I can get rid of these guys into the center alley and clean that pen out. I think that's all I can do. Mm -hmm. 
So she has milk, which is a good sign. Uh, I'm just really confused because I've never had lambs this early that weren't miscarried. Like they, that, usually a month before they give birth, or a month if they if they lose their babies a month before they're due, it's typically chlamydia. Um, now this is a mature use, so she's had her vaccinations, and these lambs are healthy and happy. So it's a good thing that. I'm concerned about my breeding dates. I'm gonna go back and just make sure my January breeding group started when I think it started. That's why I write everything down. I checked my vlogs and sure enough, there, busted. That's when Billy's pen broke out and it is to the day. That ewe has lambed to the day. They broke out for, I think, about 10 minutes. I thought that you lamb that lambed a couple weeks after um, after that group was was the breakout, but I think that was the first breakout or second break. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know what is going on anymore. But I'm glad I have this as a reference, and this is literally why I carry a camera every day because my memory is gone. gonna kill me. Oh boy.
Well, you guys, I have a lot of cleanup to do here. I ran in for lunch today. I got to be a part of a thing for YouTube Canada, and they had just launched it at lunch, so I was able to see it, and it was really cool, and I'm pretty sure everyone else on that video did not run in after cleaning manure all morning to go watch a video of themselves with all these other creators. So it was really neat and really cool. I was learning a lot and I just wanted to share what I was learning. So I think when I first set out, it was really more like, this is how I hoof trim, this is how we shear, this is why we shear, like the, the hows, the whys, and the whats. And as I got a little more comfortable and as I was bringing new people into the channel, what I'm realizing, actually someone said it best, they messaged me when I was feeling kind of low and they said, listen, Sandy, we came for the sheep, but we, we stayed for you. And that has like, like totally changed the perspective of me trying too hard to make a specific video. Now it's like, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to bring my camera everywhere I go and just capture these little moments because People are connecting with how I'm responding to those moments. And what I'm finding, the greatest gift with all this, is I've learned, I've learned empathy from my viewers. Um, and I've also, think in turn, created empathy from my viewers. So it's a beautiful, again, this synergy and this relationship and community. Like today I got, a, I got another message from a, a US veteran and he had this beautiful message and at the end it said people won't people won't remember what you people won't remember what you did people won't remember what you said but people will always remember how you made them feel and that was from a viewer so it's like yeah it's it they are, they literally give you oxygen when you need it i don't know i was pretty uh, humbled to be a part of it so now it is uh, time to feed everybody's really hungry and really warm uh, I got my babies moved up to here. I don't know if I got footage because my camera uh, battery died. So we moved them from way back there to up here. They're not very boisterous, so I think they've been getting enough milk, but I might just try the, over the next few days to I'll also introduce a bottle. Uh, just because there is three and mom only has two table placements. So I'm gonna do that, but I need to get the show on the road. I still need to weigh lambs across the road, and I got a lot of cleanup to do. <laughs> All right, I fed um, little curly ear here. He's curly, if you see his curled up ear. And I fed brown tip ear. She drank too. You're so cute. A little early, still cute. All right, one more. You like this one's tail. Sometimes the mums actually bite the tails of these lambs, which I don't have to dock them then, but it's kind of gross. I don't know why you do that. How about you? You were drinking off mum. So I got a hundred in both of the twins here. And this one's not too excited. But I think it's been drinking off mom. They all have been drinking off mom. You're a good mom. All right, so you don't want any, okay. Hi. What are you? Oh, two girls and a boy. Nice. All right, now I gotta go deal with the teenagers across the road. Okay, I've got uh, everything set up here for these guys. It'd be nice if they just kind of came out on their own. that in record time they went right through no problem uh, 42 42 tail enders 
I will just go over the stats real quick. Uh, so average weights on my tail enders, so this is the last group, these would be end of December, beginning of January, most of them. Uh, average weight is 90.83 pounds. Maximum weight of this group was 114. Minimum, 58 pounds. <laughs> so there's always a few little, uh, little runs. I think uh, they were probably, I'd have to check on the ages, but it's likely one of the last ones born. They just never really catch up. Um, yeah, so good group. I'm happy with that, but I am, I gotta run. I gotta hook up the trailer. Uh, take all this down and reconfigure it so it can um, fill the trailer. I got them loaded and they did really well. I'm uh, having some pretty good luck loading by myself, which is weird. Um, anyway, so that is it. That is all for those December lambs. They have been an amazing group. Uh, the September group did really good too. So, yeah. Um, it's just, it's just a chaotic day. It was not how I planned my day. We're going to just head up to the sales barn right now and sell these lambs. Lambs have been strong. The lamb market's still been strong even since Easter. So still not sure what's going on. I think it's a supply and demand thing, but uh, kind of glad that the barn is empty now. I don't have to even look at the markets until um, these wean lambs come over. And that's going to be in another month or so before I have to really start shipping. So anyway... Thanks guys for hanging out with me today. Uh, Jack is actually home for supper tonight with us. He's back in school, so we don't see him very much. So uh, just nice to see him. So I'm gonna run to town and get back and hang out with him for the night. See you guys.